This episode of Nerd is the New Sexy Entertainment, the podcast, is brought to you by Magic Mind. What is up, all you sexy nerds? Grizzly McBee here, and you are listening to and watching Nerd is the New Sexy Entertainment, the podcast, episode number 174. You may notice that I'm looking at my webcam because I have no fucking clue where my microphone is because the one I've been using is not the one that's been recording me and it's the only one connected <laughs> so yeah that's what we've been doing this for the last fucking hour <laughs> the government's listening in on you dude <laughs> so uh, today I'm joined by the one the only the man the myth the legend uh, back in the day, he was my younger brother, even though he's older than me, Mr. Wildfire One. What's up, everybody? <laughs> and we are also joined by our younger brother when we are all three together, uh, even though he's half an inch taller than me and could probably bench press both of us, uh, Monster 74. What's up, guys? What's up? If you can't tell today, uh, it sucks. <laughs> Uh, uh, today's topic is a demonologist <laughs> the game demonologist uh, on pc that you can buy off of steam yeah so uh we started off the day uh at two o'clock in the afternoon uh, playing some demonologist waiting for monster to get home from work and uh yeah fuck that guy uh <laughs> not monster but the fucking ghost because it came out of nowhere and fucked me and wild both in the ass today seems to be the the fuck that guy day <laughs> fuck that guy there's probably gonna be a lot of this shit cut out of the podcast yeah. so fuck that i don't guy. know this is too funny <laughs> sure, there um, shouldn't be a rant about fucking technology that doesn't fucking work or... i mean you could ra- do a rant you, you can do a rant there's more than one thing we can talk about Let's start off. Explain by telling us what is going on. Is like the microphone in here? Is the microphone in here? <laughs> is it in one of my fucking things of meds? No. no. <laughs> well, sure as fuck isn't coming out of this. <laughs> sure is there a microphone here? <laughs> oh, this one isn't even connected. It's connected. <laughs> But tap on your tap on your. Is there a microphone in my light? Tap on maybe tap on your webcam. Is it in there? Because uh, you know the system doesn't say there's one in there, but apparently it's fucking in there. <laughs> Is it on there? I don't know. There's no fucking. <laughs> so Grizz's problem is it. This he, is why I drink for a living. He 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 bought he bought he bought a, like a whole podcast setup for this. And the, we've we've been noticing he's had issues with his microphone. If I'm sure you listeners have noticed too, but we've noticed for, and tried to fix it for months now, and like we just found out this, this whole time the his microphone micro- that I bought, even though it's connected, doesn't fucking pick up my audio. The, the so best. I've been streaming with it. I've been fucking gaming with it. I've been doing podcasts with it. Well, we thought, hey, you know, let's try to figure this shit out. I unplugged it, and they can still hear me, and I don't fucking know how. <laughs> I, I, I keep telling him, I think it's in his webcam. He's like, I don't have a microphone on my webcam. Well, some of them do. Um, and I think most of them, most of the new, like the newer ones, Fix your too. shit, Rockstar. I'm tired of this. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, I'm also gonna apologize. I'm, I'm trying something new today. I got a facial recognition cam going. Yeah, see, he's got shit that works. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm apologizing in case it like moves a lot because it, it does what it does. Yeah. And in case you're wondering what that dead face is behind him that that keeps coming into frame, uh, that's a Necronomicon. That's my Necronomicon. Uh, see it? Hell. <laughs> 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 Come on, Hollywood, pick us up. We're we're ready. Ready <laughs> <laughs> forever. <laughs> Bunch of put. <laughs> Chris, you're on the ball. You know, you, you got know me how crying. to find me. All you got to do is leave a message. I'll call you back. Five five nine 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 seven six eight zero three. Don't be a bitch. <laughs> Don't be a bitch. <laughs> Let me join your cult. <laughs> we had our rant. You feel better, Grizz? A little bit. Oops. 
teeny tiny bit. I, I talk into the mic, but I don't know where the fuck it's at. <laughs> <laughs> oh, computer problems. Okay, let's talk about something else that pisses him off, demonologist. Well, it pisses him off especially today, because uh, while we were waiting for Monster to get off work before we did the pod, before we we're doing this podcast, we played what maybe two rounds. Yeah, two rounds. First one fucked us royally. Well, you guys must have died quick. Believe it or not, yeah, within the first maybe within ten minutes. First, no, it was way quicker than that. We. We walked through the house. Found the room. Found the room when we were coming back. It was in the hall. Mm-hmm. Went out, got stuff, put it in there. As soon as we got in there, it started hunting. Uh-huh. I saw Wild head towards, like, the little hidey hole. I, it, I took one step to go up the stairs, and it ripped me in half. I tried to, and I tried to save him. Uh, with the with the crucifix, turns out it was the ghost that gets mad when you bring protection. Yeah. So uh, thirty seconds later, wild stick. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I lost everything because I was the pack mule that round. Yeah, the second round I was the pack mule, and then we won. We did good. We were on one of the newer maps, and that was a fun one. Mm-hmm. Uh, what was the map we were at? You said it was what like. Uh, the the one that we won was uh, Deadwood. Yeah, Deadwood. The Deadwood farmhouse. Uh, the one we died on was your favorite cyclone. Cyclone. Yeah. Oh, we got s- totally screwed on that one. It was too bad. First time we dealt with an Abaddon, though. Yeah, that I can remember. I mean, the first time I ever really dealt with a new ghost was with with Monster when we played the other day, and that was the uh, what was it Nama. called? What's it? The Nama. Nama. Yeah, that thing. In that game, a Nama basically steals all your shit, man. It just takes everything you got and puts it in a pile somewhere. Every two seconds. Wild was like, the first time it happened, Wild was like, where where did my shit go? I thought it was... I I thought it was glitching. Is this game glitching? I thought it was glitching. Seriously, because I've never had that happen. So, Monster, tell tell the story of the Nama. So, Wild, Wild was like, where's... Where did this shit go? This game, this game, uh, this game glitching. It's glitching. I mean, it has to be glitching. Like, we walked through and nothing. The shit started disappearing out of my hand. Mm-hmm. Then yeah, we, like, okay, we started finding them in other rooms. We started finding all the yeah. items in other rooms, and uh, I was we like, "What the fuck?" Book out. And a video camera, and it disappeared. Well, we, we didn't even. Another room. We didn't even have to like get all the evidence. We looked at the ghosts. And what they do, and one of them's a thief ghost, and so we were like, "Oh, that it's a nama. It's fuck. That's what it is." And so we did that, and we we just beat the game that we beat that level that way. Yeah. Each like okay, just so you guys know, each like level has a different like way of banishing the ghost, and there's a different animation when the ghost gets banished. Mm-hmm. And I can't tell you all of them because I haven't played all the levels yet. We're still trying to go through some of the new ones, but With some of the big ones. Every time we try playing, we get fucked. <laughs> yeah. The abandoned hospital. Yeah, the abandoned hospital. You have to, that you have to shoot it, kill it. With a with a, a gun, assault gun, more or less. Assault, a, assault shotgun that you have to build. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, that was one of the videos that you can see on the channel on the YouTube channel that uh, Grizzly Grizzly was originally myself and I think J Mac were playing. Yeah, and uh, we. We had to. We were at that last part where it appears and it hunts us, and Grizz had to. I think I had the shotgun, right? Yeah. And he, the whole time, Grizz, it appears right in front of Grizz's face, so he's running. He's kill it, kill it, kill it. And that's all he's saying. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. As we're as we're all running away from it, the game itself, uh, Demon All just is a fun game. It's basically like a Faz mm-hmm. clone. For those of you who haven't got that yet, I think it's just more gruesome. It's more gruesome and more fun, in my opinion. It's it's got better mm-hmm. jump scares. It's, uh, it's got a lot of jump scares. There's it's got even a lot more than fast. There's even some new ones we saw today. Yeah. While we were playing, um, that we didn't know existed when we first so started in, playing. It. Mm-hmm. In, in the one that we beat, um, we decided to explore the the location because we'd only been on it once before and never really explored mm-hmm. so go into this laundry room 
And uh, the best way I can describe this jump scare was like the the alien from Independence Day. It yeah. looked exactly like it. Without the tentacles. Yeah. And it scared the absolute dog shit out of me. <laughs> I got I, I walked in a little bit after it appeared and it still scared me. I was like, what the fuck is he's like, that was a ghost of a fucking alien. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Um I've yet to see this. Oh, it, it was one of the new houses that you and I didn't get to play, Monster. But it was it was still fun. It was really cool, and it was funny because we we had already exercised the ghost, and it did that. Because after you exercise the ghost, you have this like feeling of safety. Yeah. And then we walk in there, and it does that, and it scared the dog piss out of us. And and that's the first time we've had a jump scare after we've exercised something. Yeah. So, kudos to the the developing development team for uh, leaving those jump scares in, even though we've gotten rid of. Know, the entity makes the scary aspect even better you know? yes yes uh so i monster you got to play it for the second time i want to say the other yeah. day with me what was what was your what are your general thoughts about the game and, and as a whole I, I like it it's it's fun as fuck that shit is scary that shit it was scary it actually and it takes a little bit to scare a uh, monster he's he's kind of the yeah. the I mean, I love oh, scary games. Grizzly doesn't. He's, numb. he's a little. He's, he's he's numb to shit like that. Yeah, he's a little more numb to that. That makes sense. That's a bad, good way of putting it. I like it. No I mean, it's one of the only games that have scared me in recent times. Yeah, it's no other game. They did a good job, and you only played the first two levels with me. He played mm -hmm. Cyclone. Paz didn't even. Faz didn't even do that to me. Yeah. Yeah, that was yeah, the that Faz was. Close? What's that other game we played? What's that one? One with the spider bitch. Devour. Devour, yeah. yeah. Devour's scary. Yeah, that that, that game. game is the only other game that gives me the, that gets me like that. Yeah, Devour is, is a like is it. a pretty good horror game. Uh we gotta play more than that. I got J Mac mm -hmm. asking me to play it, and I know that there's some new uh yeah, I know he won't Grizzly won't play it. I know I that there's know? Yeah, there's there's some new levels to it too that I gotta check out. Cool, have fun. I still need to play that uh that Mortuary's Assistant game too. Yeah, that game, that game. I have a feeling it's gonna. Ghostly Killer, game. Ghostly Killer played and streamed that on our Facebook. He played the the uh the demo, I believe. Uh, mm. But yeah, we definitely need to check out the full version of that game. Uh, I have it. I haven't touched it. <laughs> well, it, that one's supposed to be really scary. And one of the reasons you won't see me playing is that I don't like single-player horror games. I, I can't do it. Uh, not since Silent Hill 3. I, I, you know, I take that back. There, I have play, I have a, I have tried a few single-player horror games like like Love, Love, School Days and, and stuff like that, but you won't, you won't ever see me play them long. Uh, the, yeah. One of the worst ones was the VR horror game I got for the PlayStation 4 a while back, and I can't remember what it was called. It was no, I think it was free, and uh, I played it. I played about 20 minutes of it and said, "Fuck that!" I even <laughs> streamed it. I said there was one big scare that got me, and I was like, "Fuck that! Nope, nope, I'm done." So yeah. single player, single player horror games, I'm I have a little bit less courage with. So. Oh, I have more. I have more. I want more. Multiplayer. I, I know it's gonna ha either. It's probably gonna happen to, to Grizzly if it happens. Because yeah. then anything what I told you, Monster, when we played, if it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen to Grizzly. And if it doesn't happen to Grizzly, if he's not there, it's gonna happen to me. Yeah. And that's exactly what happened. That, All that's the jump usually scares, how it goes. Bastards. All the jump scares got me. <laughs> Well, that's because Grizzly goes off ahead all of his, all on his own. He does. It was <laughs> not in Demonologist, I don't, and I'm always the fucking target. Well, you what did you do? This last game, though, I wasn't the target. Wild was the target. Oh yeah, the last game, I, yeah, the 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 particular uh, ghost we were hunting was after it's me. More, it's more active when it uh, can see its prey. And I went in the room, and there was nothing going on. Wild walks in, and <laughs> sure, shit, fucking bombarded with glass. Shit and starts flying off the shelves. Bombarded with and, glass. Yeah, but he's not kidding. Doors were opening, ghosts were appearing, jump scares were happening, everything. It just set everything off. 
Oh, that's another good thing about demonologists. I'm surprised I'm, we haven't talked about it, is that you can go up to certain things and say words. Oh yeah, and it'll trigger stuff. Yep. Yep. I uh, like that. You can and you can buy your own like like home bases. I think I'm at the uh, right now. I'm at the lighthouse. Uh, Grizz has the tavern. Monsters just started, so he's got the basic bitch house. Basic bitch ain't nothing but better than pumpkin spice. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I'm so, go ahead and leave. <laughs> <laughs> so I quit. I'm done. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know the, uh, monster was that basic. So, you know, to to hunt ghosts, you need a lot of focus. You have to be mentally prepared. Oh, you gotta be. And what laser. better way to be mentally prepared than with a mental performance shot? Yes, a mental performance shot named From Magic, Magic Mind. Mind. So since taking this monster, because uh, um, some some of us, including some of the viewers, know that um, you're you like powerlifting. I like to lift. Yes. How yes. has uh, Magic Mind, such with the ingredients such as like ashwagandha and stuff, helped with you being able to do those lifts? Now that you know the swelling in your knees have gone down. It it's it phenomenal. So. Before I would I couldn't like push push like so when you lift you your force comes from your feet so it comes from your base and since it is not down on the swelling I'm actually able to push more from my knee my legs on anything it helps me being able to to push actually a lot better and you know yeah. with everything else that's in magic mind it gives you 100 percent of your daily vitamin c and d yep for one, just one little box and one of the best parts being diabetic myself it has no sugar it's gluten-free mm -hmm. you know vegan and paleo friendly if you guys want to try the product they donate five cents for every bottle of magic mind sold to mental health uh homeless around the country <clears throat> okay yeah and Going to magicmind.com slash nerd is N E R D I S. You have a limited time offer to use our code to get up to 48% off your first subscription or 20% off a one time purchase when you use the code nerd is 20. That's N E R D I S 20 at checkout at magicmind.com slash nerd is. To get that this great discount that they're offering. So in in demonologists, there's a kind of like a leveling system where you get to certain levels, you can unlock certain certain things. You can unlock like, new places. Like yeah, you like can unlock, uh, new, new bases. Um, you can unlock, you know, different um, attire that you can wear. Oh, is that how that works? I never really thought about that. Yeah. Um, and then there's like pets that you can have for your home base. Like the first pet you can get is a cat. Well, back when we first started. Now yeah, that was all dog, that was available. You can get a flamingo. You can get a turtle. You can get, what is there, a bunny? I, all I know is I got the flamingo recently because of your flaming mingo comment yeah. in Vegas. And I just got the turtle. Yeah. What about what you guys call me? When we play, how my character looks. My character looks like Kurt Cobain. Oh, yeah. Kurt Cocaine? So they started oh, calling my character like okay, the Wish.com okay. version of Kurt Cobain. So they call him Kurt Cocaine. Oh. And there's a there's like a good four videos on our YouTube channel where... Uh, where me, it, Jay, Jay Mac. Yeah, they're just calling <laughs> me Kurt look. Cocaine. Uh, Mo well, let's start with Monster. Monster, what was the scariest jump scare you had in that game so far? The, uh, what is that? The second time we played it, you know, the first time, and, um, the, you know, the ghost came at me, but it was like, like a monster type thing. What, uh, what, what level were we playing? The one, the one with the upstairs, the one that I didn't play before. Cyclone. Yeah, Cyclone. So it was probably, what room was it in? Upstairs. Upstairs? So it was, it was a ghost of, it was a ghost event where the ghost appeared and came at you. Yeah. Okay. 
And I know there's a few times that we and I were playing and the, like that hall, that hall room changed. So like there was a bunch of like candles oh, yeah. and yeah. So you're, you're, the scariest thing that happened was the ghost came at you. Yeah. And it caught me off guard. It wasn't expected. That game will do it. I, so I, I would have to say it would be that same map, Cyclone Street. Uh, it was you, me, I want to say it was Jade and j we were playing when uh, the room turned red and the ring chick crawled out of the fucking TV. The TV, yep. And Is that on the, the same whole... map? Yeah, on that map. And oh, I gotta see this. The whole time, Jade is in the, the tent area watching the cameras, and you can hear her voice coming out of the TV. And me and Wild both were like, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you know, it seems like Cyclone Street is is probably the scariest place so far until they add more. But at the moment, Cyclone Street seems to be, because mine is there too. And it the, and my scare didn't necessarily happen to me. It happened to Gris. And it's the same, almost the same thing. It's the television, but it's when the hands appeared on the television like they're oh, reaching out. Yeah. And I remember turning around going, what the fuck? That creeped me right the fuck out. And I just, you just hear Grizz go, oh, like running away. And it just, it, it was, it was, it reminded me of something like, I don't know, uh, Poltergeist, the movie. Yes. Yes. You know, and that's the first thing that came to my head, my mind and my fight or flight kicked in and flight was what I wanted. Well, it was also that, that same map where we were down in the old living room. Mm-hmm where we had no evidence whatsoever and i'm standing there trying to talk to the ghost and wild standing next to me and all all of a sudden i i'm pretty sure wild and i heard the same exact thing time to die yeah. <laughs> and then i died yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i was behind wild and i died well i'll tell you why well i'll tell you why i'm pretty sure you remember this but you might not remember this for this particular story. We were playing with J-Mac. And J-Mac was in, in the other room with the fucking tarot cards. And he clicked yep. and he pulled out the death card. And guess who got killed? This guy. Yeah. So it goes, time to die! And then, and then he perfectly and then he, appears and goes after... And then he immediately pulls the angel card, which brings me back. And then I died again. Before <laughs> I could even take a step, I died. What was what was the one where we were in that room? You and I were in the in the in the old living room, and mm. uh, it was, there was just a bunch of fucking like there was a whole lot of different like ghost events that happened at once. And then that big ass, the big like fat uh, ghost the, the came at you. Yeah. yeah. Well, it was a, it was it was just a big ghost. It was like a big old blob of flesh that came at you. And uh, I, I remember, and I think. I can't remember what triggered it, but we were we were mocking it at this point. We we're doing our best to get what we could get, and and then like it, it appeared right in front of Grizz, and it just like looked at him and killed him. And the whole time, I think you were streaming that. Yeah, I think I was too. And the whole time during the stream, because I got to edit it, and he's like, "Kill fucking wild, kill fucking wild for once, the bitch ghost, fuck you, kill wild. Yeah. They're uh, in here. Uh, They're going upstairs. Go get them." <laughs> After I died, I was just following the fucking ghost around, talking shit. <laughs> They're upstairs. Stop being a bitch. Go fucking kill him. <laughs> oh, that reminds me of the game we just did, where no. you got to get the you got to get the photo of the ghost. Remember? <laughs> One of the things so we had we're, to do. We're, we're in the living room, and all we needed to do was get a photo of the ghost before we exercise. Wild standing, kind of just off to my right, right in front of me. I got the camera, and. Uh, he goes, come on, give us a sign. Stop being a bitch. Let my friend take a picture of you. And boom, he popped up. I took a picture. We ran like a motherfucker. <laughs> I was like, see, calling it a bitch always works. Come what? on, Charles, don't be a bitch. I, I immediately wanted to go, where's the door? Where's the door? <laughs> Out of the few Real maps quick. that you've played, which one's your favorite? The Cyclone would have to be the Cyclone. Cyclone Street, there's just something about it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the only problem, of course, I've only yeah. played two maps ever. So. It does. It does have that homey feel, except for once you go past that hallway with a broken door, or broken. I think my favorite map is uh, the Japanese home. I was just about to say that's probably one of my favorite. 
Cyclone would be a close second because I like yeah. Cyclone. There's a lot of I've good not scares. Been there yet. The Japanese Maybe one has some good scares scared. too. I, I like some of the things Jeff do before you can exercise. The it's like the house is basically yeah. a house next to the old uh, stairway that goes up to a temple. You familiar with that? Yeah. That's basically what the house yeah, is. Yeah, I know. It, you know any anime. Yeah. Preferably in Yasha. And, well, I mean, I mean, just about any anime these days. Yeah. yeah. Any Japanese anime. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's that's basically what that house is, and it's really cool. Uh, okay. Yeah, well, definitely next time we play, we'll play that map because it's I I yeah. wanted to get you started on the first two one. maps, and the, the first two maps are generally the easiest, unless you get a fucking certain type of ghost that just wants to kill Grizzly. Yeah, which is most of them. That's a Grizzly ghost, though, not a monster ghost. Wow. It'd be nice to me. Well, we saw a monster well, ghost. Yet we saw the monster ghost on that last game when we saw that alien-looking motherfucker. The fact that every location has its own exorcism of entity. Uh, I do like that. It, yeah. It's special for each location. And uh, the map that Wild and I just played, we, we both agree, is is the best exorcism that we've seen so far. We've played almost all the maps. Yeah. I like that. that I think that's also a one up it's got on Faz. You know, like you don't even exercise mm -hmm. nothing in Phasmophobia. You just go in. Which, don't get me wrong, Phasmophobia is always going to be the grandpa of ghost hunting games for me. Yep. It's it's the first that started a long line of good games. And yep. Demonologist is just one of those games that like took what it... It's the PAL world to Pokemon. Yes. It took a game with a great concept and then upgraded it. And the good, the scares are great. The I, and I, Going back to what Grizz said, the, the uh, exorcisms being different in each house... Uh, the one that he's talking about is the uh, shit. I can't remember the damn name of the house. Uh, uh, Deadwood. The farmhouse. Deadwood house, the Deadwood farmhouse, mm -hmm. and that one's really cool because like some howdy doody looking motherfucker appears out of where you're where you're doing the thing, and a demon or not a demon. It looks like kind of like it, an angel. It looks like an angel yeah. comes up and then just the whole room goes bright and then poof, the demon's gone. Yeah. yeah. So it's almost like we, it, it's got that little bit of religious a aspect to it. And it's kind of cool. There's another one where uh, the first, one of the first houses, I think it's the first house where you, where you exercise it, you have to burn fingers. And then like, mm -hmm. it's just, it's just this yeah. giant, it's just this giant like statue going into the ground, like going to hell mm -hmm. almost. Uh, I like that. The one on the, uh, the Japanese style map. Um, oh yeah. Once you gather everything to uh, capture the ghost, it winds up in a, uh, cage. Like a bird cage almost, yeah. and then it just incinerates. And it looks like a geisha, almost like kind of. Yeah, it, it looks pretty awesome. Yeah, the first one I think, uh, or no, Cyclone Street I think has the weakest one so far. Yeah, unfortunately, because yeah. we're we're so hyped on Cyclone Street, you basically find the time of the ghost's death and you put it in a bunch of mm. like clocks, yeah. and then you just hear click click ah, and that's about it um there's a, a again there's a few maps we haven't played and tried uh that they've updated there's there's a i guess there's a, a mental institution that we can do and An we have, i played yeah i played the asylum maybe twice but when it first played it is when it first came out and it was broken as shit yeah it was uh mm -hmm. they've long since fixed it i i just kind of got a bad taste in my mouth for that that map because of the past um all right so uh again guys check out magic mind and uh, check it out at the uh at the website given below you can check and click the link below and below will also be our code which is what grizz nerd is 20 all caps nerd is 20 and you go where magicmind.com slash nerd is so if you want to get a hold of us which was already already mentioned earlier if you want if if you know the Illuminati wants to get a hold of Grizzly. You, there's a number you can call. Five five nine 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 seven six eight zero three. Leave us a message. Tell us what you want us to play, review, eat, watch, what have you. Tell us you love us. Or, tell us you hate us. Or if you just wanna wanna call and you know invite me into a uh, another secret society that I'm not a part of. Wait 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 wait. Yeah, another air quotes. Another secret society. No, there's, there's no air quotes. Okay. I, I, it's not that much of a secret if you call. If you're okay, go, go on. 559 997 6803. Fucking call it.
Yeah, he's calling you out. Do it. All right, guys. Well, with that, we're going to end the podcast. We'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you for listening. Till then, we want you to stay nerdy. Stay sexy.